Over on Facebook, I belong to a group called No Small Creator. And this is a group envisioned by Mr. Cody Warner. And it's a place for YouTube creators, such as I'm doing here, to kind of hang out and share a sense of community. It's a place to share ideas and to help each other out and offer suggestions and advice. Now one of the policies for that group is that you can't just drop a link to a video because people would link every single video they ever make that way. So instead the rule is that instead of posting the video link, you post a teaser and you can do 15 to 30 seconds. I don't remember what the exact target timeline is. I always go over anyways because I tend to talk too much. So today I set out to make a teaser for my latest video to post on that group. And after doing that, it took as long to make that little teaser as it usually takes to make a full video in the blacksmith shop. So I thought I would let you come along on the journey of just making the teaser. And pretty much that just means I'm going to show you almost, if not all, of the video that I shot just in the process of making the teaser. Now there was a lot of other time moving cameras around, going from one place to another, because I did this in various locations around the property and in the blacksmith shop. I just wanted to put a little extra effort into this, and that took a lot more time. Now I'll go ahead and start by playing the completed teaser, and then we'll get into the unedited version of the teaser. Well, you've done it. You've worked really hard creating your special little niche in the YouTube world. And all of that hard work is now starting to pay off. Your channel is really growing. And then it hits you. Is that all there is? Does that niche represent everything you are as a person and as a creator? Of course not. But what's a creator to do? For me, I'm going to start a new channel. So that's the teaser. Now we're going to look at most of the unedited footage just to show how many false starts and missed cues and whatever else that I screw up in a video looks like and how long it really takes to do this. Like I said, there's a lot more time that wasn't on camera. So this is just part of it, but it gives you an idea of the process I go through. And that as rough as some of my videos look, they're a lot rougher before I edit them. Well, you've done it. You've worked really hard creating your special little niche in the YouTube world. And all of that hard work is now starting to pay off. Your channel is really growing.
And then it hits you. Is that all there is? Does that niche, does that niche represent everything you are as a person and as a creator? Of course not. Of course not. But what's a creator to do? not, but what's a creator to do? Haven't ridden this thing since last fall. So it needs a little air.
Now we'll see if we can figure out where to mount the 360 camera. Which I think it'll go right here. For me, I'm going to start a new channel. <laughs> Tire's already flat. So now that all that footage has been shot, it's time to head inside, put it all on the computer and edit it. And that's another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on how long it takes just to upload the footage to my computer in the first place. Then once the edit is done, it has to load to the internet and that's a whole nother issue. So I hope you enjoyed that little behind the scenes look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful day out there and we'll see you for the next video. Mm -hmm.